This is Viewpoints Explained. I'm Ebony McMorris. Last month, Hurricane Helene hit the shores of Florida, wreaking widespread destruction on the southeastern United States. Millions of people lost power, running water, and access to many communication lines. For residents trying to get in touch with loved ones, gaining access to Wi-Fi was a lifeline. In Asheville, North Carolina, which saw destructive flooding, the PAC Memorial Public Library used its generators to transform into a community gathering spot and provide free access to Wi-Fi. Not long after, the town also worked with a phone provider to set up online access at the local courthouse. For people outside of the downtown area, firefighters led an effort to get portable cell towers connected to generators. This is just one example out of many in which public spaces became key fixtures after an extreme weather event. After all, most people don't own a generator. Generac, a big seller of these machines, estimates that about 7% of all U.S. homes have one on hand. A portable generator can cost anywhere between $500 to $2,000, while a larger model that can power a whole home will set you back anywhere between $5,000 to $8,000. These prices are out of reach for many Americans, and as climate change creates stronger, more frequent, and less predictable storms, community resources and first responders will continue to be tested. That's Viewpoints Explained for this week. More in a moment.